Hello, my name is Mr. Asprey, and today is Monday, and we are now only eight days away from the first A Level Pure exam. Uh, I hope you're feeling confident and I hope you are looking forward to the exam, though I'm sure that that is not going to be the case for everyone. Uh, but don't worry, we've still got time. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to post every single weekday a tricky question uh, right up until the end of your exams. Now this one I found um, whilst I was looking for questions for my integration uh, masterclass live revision session which is happening on Wednesday. Um, do check it out, link is in the description. Uh, it's going to be two and a half hours and I'm going to go through uh, all eight techniques that you need to know for A-level integration and then also could be doing lots of exam questions um, uh, which are going to be you know, tricky and challenging. Uh, so what you'll get is a recording of the session, you'll get the 16-page document with uh, solutions as well. Um, and hopefully, most importantly, it will build your confidence in what is arguably one of the trickiest uh, topics. Um, so do check it out. So this question, uh, just like the ones in the session and the ones that I've been doing recently for the Tricky Question series, uh, is from an, uh, it's either old spec or international spec or maybe a different spec other than Edexcel. Because this close to the exam, I feel like most people would have probably done all of the past papers now for Edexcel. Um, if you haven't, then you can check out my walkthrough uh, playlist where I go through all of those past papers. Um, so these questions, hopefully you would have seen them before, so it will give you that same experience like when you go into an exam and you've never seen the question before. Okay, right, let's get into it. Come on. Okay, let's go. So first one uh, is a, uh, there's no technique really needed here. It's just a straightforward integral. So if I need to, I need to write it in a way where I can integrate it. So I have five over six is the constant and this will be e to the minus three x because the three x, sorry, the e to the three x is on the bottom. So we could bring it to the top and just change the power to a negative. Okay, so the constant will stay the same. Uh, and when I integrate an e function, then it integrates to itself. But if the input is something other than x, then we need to divide the inputs. Uh, we need to divide by the input's derivative. So I'm dividing by the derivative of minus 3x, which is minus 3. And then we get plus c. And then tidying that up gives me 5 over 18, sorry, minus 5 over 18, e to the minus 3x plus c. Perfect. Right, on to the partial fractions. Okay, so partial fractions, um, we need to first identify the fact that it is an improper fraction. Uh, now I know that because if I were to expand the bottom, it would give me 2y squared minus y. And you can see that the highest power on the numerator is um, the same as or bigger than the highest power on the denominator, which makes it an improper fraction. Now, you may have been taught that you need to divide the numerator by the denominator, which is a perfectly valid way of doing it, and it will get you the right answer, I'm sure. But there is a slightly quicker way which I like to use, and that is just saying that this is equal to a, a constant, plus b over y, plus c over 2y minus 1. Now you might say, well, how did you know that it was going to be equal to a constant plus the two partial fractions? Well, because the powers on the on the top, the power on the top is the, the highest power on the top, sorry, is the same as the highest power on the bottom. Um, and in fact, we can figure out what you would get if you were to divide the highest power on the top by the one on the bottom. Well, be 4 over 2. Uh, obviously the y squares will cancel, so 4 over 2 is just 2. So that tells me that a is equal to 2. Okay, now let's use this uh, little trick uh, in order to do partial fractions a bit quicker than having to multiply across then sub values in. Um, might save you a little bit of time. Uh, and that is that if I'm trying to find the uh, b coefficient, then what I'll need to do is I'll need to think about, well, what is the... Um, What's the y value that kind of solves this, this factor? Well, it's y equals zero. Um, so I'm gonna cover this, I'm gonna cover this up over here, and then I'm just gonna sub y equals zero into the left-hand side, but ignoring the uh, bit that I've covered up. 
So when I sub in y equals 0, I get 0 and 0, and I get minus 4. And that's over um, 0 and then minus 1, so minus 1. So that just gives me 4. OK, well, let's do the same now uh, with the other one. So the value of y which kind of solves that bracket is a half. So what I'll need to do is I'll need to cover up this and I could just sub in um, a half now into this left hand side. So a half squared is a quarter times by four is one and then plus three lots of a half minus four is going to give me minus three over two and on the bottom a half. So this is minus three. Okay great so now we can say that this Um, partial fraction, or oh, sorry, this fraction can be split up like this. So 2 plus 4 over y plus or minus, sorry, 3 over um, 2y minus 1. Okay, excellent. Right, now we need to um, integrate. Okay, so I need to integrate um, this and of course we've already split it into partial fractions so we can just integrate each of these uh, separately so I can integrate 2 uh, and then I can integrate 4 over y and then I'll integrate minus 3 over 2y minus 1 all with respect to y okay so let's first integrate 2 well that just goes to 2y um, now this is 4 lots of 1 over y, so it's 4 lots of ln y. This is minus 3 lots of 1 over 2y. Now 1 over 2y integrates to a half ln of 2y minus 1. Okay, so this gives me uh, 2y plus 4 ln y minus 3 over 2 ln 2y minus 1 um, and that's plus c okay integration by parts so I'm going to set this up uh, and the u slot is always um, prioritized for a logarithm so we have to put the logarithm there in the u slot uh, which means dv by dx will take the um, 1 over the square root of x, which is the same as x to the negative a half. Okay, now how do I differentiate this? Well, in fact, ln of 2x is actually just equal to ln of 2 plus ln of x by log rules. And if I differentiate ln 2, well, ln 2 is just a number, it's a constant, so that differentiates to 0. And if I differentiate ln x, well, that differentiates to 1 over x. So I just get 1 over x. Um, here, if I were to integrate this, I need to up the power, which gives me a half, and then divide by the new power. Well, dividing by a half is the same as timesing by 2. OK, great. So let's follow the formula now. So I can say that the integral is equal to uh, u times v, uh, which are these two multiplied together. So that's going to give me 2x to the power of a half ln of 2x and then we're minusing the integral of these two multiplied together um, which gives me 2 and um, because this is the same as x to the minus 1 I'm going to add the powers of x so minus 1 plus a half is minus a half uh, dx okay um, I'm going to just forget about the limits for now, you know, probably not the best notation. I probably should put the limits around here and then add them on there. Oh, okay, I better do it, otherwise I'll get slammed in the comments again. So 4, 1, 4, 1, like that. Okay, um, so again, keeping my notation uh, legit. Uh, I'm going to get this. Uh, and then let's, what do we get when we actually integrate this? Well, I'm going to get uh, up the power, 
uh, to a half, so x to the half, and then divide by the new power, so dividing by a half is the same as times it by two, so we're gonna get four. Okay, and now because they're both limits are the same, of course, we could just write it in one box like this between four and one. Perfect. Okay, now let's sub in our uh, limit. So I always recommend not using a calculator to do this because it does ask to give your answer in like the exact form. Um, so four um, x to the power half is going to be the square root, so that's two, and then times two gives you four. So we get four, and that's going to be times by ln of eight. And then we're going to be minusing, um, again, four square rooted is two, times by four is eight. Okay, so that's when I sub in uh, the four. Now when I sub in the one, I'm going to get um, two times ln two, so two ln two. And when I sub in one here, I'm just going to get minus four. Okay, perfect. Uh, right, so let's put the LUNs together now. So I've got 4 LUN 8 minus 2 LUN 2. And I've also got uh, a minus 8 and a plus 4. So this um, uh, 4 LUN 8 is the same as 4 LUN uh, 2 cubed. Uh, the 3 can come down uh, by log rules to multiply with the coefficient, so that could be 12 ln 2. So I've got 12 ln 2 minus 2 ln 2, which is 10 ln 2. And here I've just got minus 4. Perfect. Right, I hope you enjoyed that. Check out my integration session on Wednesday, and I'll see you tomorrow for another tricky question. Bye for now.